Hey guys, just before we get into the video, I've got some giveaway info for you, of course. So today's giveaway is going to be pretty simple. We're going to have two winners, each receiving a $20 bond. All you guys have to do to enter is comment your in-game name down below, leave a like on this video, and be subscribed to my channel. I will be doing first comment giveaways, but I don't know what to do yet, so there's not one for this video. So make sure you guys turn on notifications, because in every video I will be choosing the first comment to win something. Aside from that, let me know what you guys think of today's episode. This is my first time doing a series on an actual old school server in quite a long time. So I'd really love some feedback, tips, whatever you guys want to give me. And most importantly, let me know if you actually want to keep seeing these videos. But yeah, anyways, good luck on the giveaway, and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, boys, welcome to the first unrestricted from scratch account that I have made in a very long time. Of course, we are on old school RSPS. If you guys want to join me on my journey, race with me if you want. Join using the link down in the description below. To start off the series, I think I'm just going to go with easy mode so I can build up my bank and gather supplies and stuff like that. And then later on, we're going to move over to extreme probably so we have better drop rate. Yeah, we're going to go with easy. It's going to be insanely fast. Uh, no, I don't want to be an Iron Man. Yes, confirm. Would I like to vote? Of course. Always like free money. And you only have to vote on one site, so it's really easy. All right, what do we get? Uh, vote reward book, which I believe you can sell. Last time I checked, I think they're around one mil. Okay, so it shows the best offer currently in the GE, I believe. And then I think if we look at these sell offers, does it also tell you? Oh, okay, someone's selling them for 750k, apparently. I think. I don't understand this. Wait, if I chuck it in a little bit lower than that guy, will it sell instantly? No. Oh, it did. Okay, there we go. Give me that. Already got one mil cash. Let's go, boys. Wait, I need a makeover. And we're done. Now, one of the first things you guys are going to want to do on this server is come over to the Brother Tranquility here and select the god that you want to follow. So I'm going to select Zamrock because it's like a tribrid book. I can use it for basically everything. And once you select a god, you'll actually get a halo. And if you don't know, when you wear this halo and do activities, you'll actually gain points. And then once you gain points on it, you dump them into the altar. And then you can spend your points here at the shop for god book pages, dehide stuff, things like that. It's a really cool concept. I really like it. Yeah, I guess we need to train our combat. So I'm just going to hop straight into some easy slayer. 25 skeletons. Let's go. Okay, I just realized this starter sword has 82 strength on it compared to my 25 with an iron sim something i kind of want to try is to like bring this to revs or something how many charges does it have i can't even check oh okay so you can earn another 5.6 mil experience before degrading okay so it's based off xp hmm since i'm on the easiest game mode i'm probably just gonna go ahead and use iron and not waste it oh and i just remembered you can actually use an enchanted gem to teleport to your slayer task oh i need to remember to set up my f keys and we're done yeah you just click your gem and click teleport to assignment location wait and you can actually select no prayer challenge no prayer challenge can be activated for extra slayer points when finishing a task when enabled you will not be able to use any protection prayers while in combat with your slayer task yes i would like to enable it okay then i guess we get extra points combat should be really fast since we're on the easiest game mode but yeah, i'll do this task for a bit and i'll keep you guys updated all right boys about to be the first task complete I decided to stay one defense and 50 attack. I kind of want to go G mall someone at revs or some shit. I don't know. I just want to have some fun and do some random stuff. But yeah, that is my first task complete. We got 48 Slayer off of a skeleton task. And I only got one extra point for the no prayer challenge. Fuck that. I mean, I can't even use prayer right now anyway, so I might as well do it, I guess. Uh, I'll do one more easy task. Crawling hands. Wait, can I even buy anything special? Ooh, blood money perk. Noted dragon bones. Oh, you can actually buy an enchantment scroll to enchant like Dagonoth, King Rings, things like that, Rune Pouch. So Slayer is pretty decent. Don't think I actually need to pick up the secondaries for Herb. Pretty sure there is a shop at home. Next task done, two points received, 65 strength, 53 Slayer. All right, let's check something. If we go to Wilderness and go to Rev Caves, first question is, can we even make it through the cave without dying? <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Second question, do you actually need the agility for the obstacles? Yes. Final question, will I even be able to kill a revenant goblin without getting blasted? Running all the way around this cave is absolutely horrible. I should have checked if there is a black chins teleport. Alright, the moment of truth. Is there anyone here? Okay, there's not an imp here for whatever reason. Aha, there is. There's people here, but he's maxed. Our first rev kill, what do we get? Some ether and 1k. Now, can I make it to the other one? Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 please, Mr. Dragon, spare me. No, 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 I'm frozen. Dragon, please, let me kill the goblet. Please, Mr. Dragon, I beg you. 
Oh, there's th that, that looks like a lot of coins. Okay, I need to get out of aggro range of that big boy. He's still looking at me. Okay, there we go. Come here, Mr. Imp. Okay, I need the other ones to stay away. Oh, I one-hit him. More ether. Come on, give me... No, 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 no. I don't want to run out that far. Okay, you stay off me. Fuck! I don't think I can kill this. Please, Mr. Pyrefee. Oh, wait, I want to get the imp first. Oh, this isn't going to happen. Please! All right, we got another imp. Come on, give me the, like, 2kc drop. Bunch of coins. 17k. All right, now how am I going to get out of here? All right, um, I'm just going to have to squeeze past here, sir. Don't mind me. And we outie. Okay, so revs isn't that packed. I just need to actually get a bracelet and some stats first. Wait, are people actually selling bracelets this cheap? Wow. 100k, that's it? I could actually go train at revs if I wanted to. Hmm. All right, I'm going to trade up my stats to like 85 strength, 85 range maybe. And then I'm going to go ahead to revs. Imagine getting 3,700 XP from a ghost. Last kill. 58 slayer, 71 strength. Another task. 73 strength, 60 slayer. Got an extra point for the no prayer challenge. Okay, here's my plan. I've taken out the starter sword, and I have a pretty high strength bonus compared to using my rune skim and shit. But I can lose it if I die. But what I'm hoping is, is that I can run back and pick it up if I do die. I do have a bracelet with like 40 ether, which should be enough for us to gather some more ether. I'm going to turn on the absorption so it picks it up automatically. And hopefully we get very lucky. Hello again, Mr. Imp. And this guy is doing the big boy revs, so he's leaving me to do all these ones for free. I hope he just doesn't call up pure over here or some shit, though. Can I even get anything from the little revs aside from coins? Oh, I can. It's just very rare. Ooh, I just got dragon longsword. I'm fucking rich. I'm starting to think these are really shit for drops, the low ones. But I'm training anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, just got my first looting bag. You logs, how many? 110? These are broken, dude. It only took me 50 kills. Wait, I have a shit ton of charges, like 400. I wonder if I can kill a dragon. Wait, will it melee me? Please don't melee me. I take no damage, right? If I have a bracelet? Okay, update. I'm hitting a lot of zeros. Starter sword, not good on revenant dra Oh, it's probably combat level capped. Maybe. I could be wrong. I don't know, man. Fuck that. I'm just not going to hit it. Bro, I've been killing this revenant orc for about fucking three minutes. Come on, bruh. Wait, why did I bring earmuffs? Yeah, dude, I'm fucking stylish. My beats, bro. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> these are the beats you get on wish.com. <laughs> Come on, I'm almost there. All this work and I'm just gonna get fucking coins. I did it. Dude, I only got coins. Bro, this guy brought a fucking mid-level here. Either that or he just keeps it here in scouts, but either way, fuck him. A few moments later. He actually brought an account here? Bro, if I can get 60 spec, I can kill this guy. Like, does he not understand I could just glory out? All right, we're almost there. I really didn't hit. See, that was so free, man. Are you kidding me, dude? He just bodied me. What was that spec? Oh, I kept my starter sword. It's all good. Uh, dude, I just lost like 500 charges. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I lost my fucking U logs too. <laughs> How much is ether? Bro, why is it so cheap? What the fuck? Okay, fuck this guy. I'm getting my range up. He's getting blasted. Dude, these starter weapons are fucking broken. Okay, I got 89 range from AF Kang. I'm gonna bring a rune Sibo. How much are dragon bolts? What? Bro, why is everything so cheap? Okay, pots are expensive. I should get 13 prayer for the strength ting. All right, we're 13 prayer for the, the strength ting. Where's Hunter? Okay, I'm gonna go back to training melee. Oh, he's got mage. Bro, this guy, this guy doesn't know what he's getting himself into. Oh, he has prey. Oh, they got a, oh, they got a squad. God, that's cancer, bro. Why do you have a team? Wait, I lost my starter sword. No. Wait, can I get another halo back? Oh no, dude, my starter sword. Uh, hey, give me my halo back. Aha! Okay, well, guess I'm done with the revs for a bit. Let's do a clue. Dude, that's sick that it shows you the clue on the world map. Fuck, I have to actually skill. This is peak gameplay. Making my own fucking bronze bars on a normal account. Alright, 40 smithing. We can make a gold ring now, I think. Or do you need crafting for that? I think you need crafting. 
This easy clue is taking me way too long. All right, we got the gold bar. 9k XP, or basically 10k. Bro, this is easy scape. All right, I need five crafting as well. And we have the ring. Here we go. My first easy clue, what do we get? Oh, I actually got a page and you get pots as well. These actually don't seem that bad. I'm gonna do a skilling task, bro. Uh, let's do mining. 359 pure essence, that sounds like a lot. Wait, apparently I get gold every time I mine an essence? What? Yeah, does it go to my bank or what? I don't get it. Ooh, I found a clue while mining. Oh, okay, so I got all the gold at the end of it and 359 skilling points. I mean, that's a decent amount of cash. And I could spend the skill points here. Supply crate, crystal saw. A supply crate is only 350. Okay, you already know I'm gonna try one of those. Gimme, gimme. Wait, how do I have 509 points? What the heck? What do I get? Nah, fuck that. 